The next graphic we're going to look at is the animation banner with lower information. Okay, so this is like a lower third uh, graphic that you could use for somebody's name, um, the headline of a story you're working on, or a little bit of both. First, again, when you want to um, choose a graphic, you click, hold, drag, and drop it to the big gray area. And now you're ready to put it to your sequencer and start to edit. Now again, on the bottom left is how you're gonna edit all the template data to whatever you wanna put it on. So you'll see there are several um, categories which you need to change. So there's banner heading and banner subheading, okay? That's the first part of your graphic. So if you're gonna go ahead and do a headline, so we'll use that one before, storm, Approaching northeast tomorrow. Maybe I'll put maybe my subheading. Um, heavy rain is in the forecast as a subheading. So it's kind of like a little extra information as opposed to the main heading. Then you want to do your word transition. So you got to be the name of the show, Stony Brook News, Stony Brook Weather, or I can go ahead and just put breaking news as my word transition. We'll see what it looks like in a minute. Then I'll go ahead and put name. This is the name of the person that's going to be doing the report. So I'm going to choose me. Oops. So out here. And then you'll see at the bottom here, it says a Twitter. So it could be the Twitter, either at the School of uh, Journalism, or it could be your own personal Twitter to if you have a brand you want to promote. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the um, at SBU Journalism. Okay, so now that I put all template data, let's go see what it looks like. So again, we'll go to the uh, right side in the preview. And if we want to see what it looks like at first, just click on play button. There is the word transition with our um, headline and subheading. So you see it kind of takes a pause. So you, then you hit the play button again. You'll see we get a little peek of that word transition and there's the name. Hit the play button one more time we're transition back to your headline. So if this looks good, you can go ahead and put it into the sequencer or you could do any editing that you need. What's nice about this graphic too though, is that it works as a still. So if I want it to just be a still graphic, I just like say for my name, um, you could just do the banner heading and subheading and that could be a still graphic that goes along. When you're ready to go ahead and send it to air, you'd hit the enter key, which will send the first part. And then when it's queued by your director, hit the enter key again for the name. Then when it's time to maybe after five or six seconds, hit that enter key again, and it will reveal the title.